Joao Mufose uh, takes a look at the position of copyright law on the issue. <laughs> Often than not, who owns the rights of a particular song becomes an issue, especially when the original versions have been amended or portions have been taken and remixed with a different touch. In the last few days, there have been debates about whether or not CEO of Slip Music, Mark Okrepumante, had the moral right to sue rapper Sakurya over his tribute cover of Dasa Bergamina's Kokoko, which featured a pop one. Some bigwigs in the music industry had said it was unnecessary to start any form of legal rivalry since it would only bring tension in the industry. Even though Mark Okrekumante has said he will no longer go ahead with any legal suit, does the law require one to seek permission from the original owners of a piece before reproducing it? Ya Atafua is a copyright expert. Producers enjoy what we call related rights, and it is by law, which also uh, lasts for 70 years. And this reflects the effort that the company, or if it is a particular individual, what he would have put in, that is the financial investment, uh, the organization of getting the work to come onto the market. So they enjoy the right of reproduction of the work distribution. She said even though it was not mandatory to register one's work with the Copyright Office, the registration had its benefits. Copyright agreements are supposed to be in writing. It is always better, you see, so that when there is an issue, it doesn't become your word against my word.